So as a, an impact coach and consultant, it is my goal to produce collaborative learning communities in which the vast majority of educators are eager and inspired to come to work feel valued and empowered while at work and end each day having fully unleashed their impact. And I truly believe that true collaboration is where all of that lives. And Marco Polo is the way to start building that true collaboration and building collective efficacy. So I have been using Marco Polo since I was, oh my gosh, probably since 2017. So it's been We're in 2022, right? So at least five years ago, I started using Marco Polo and I started using it just with friends and family. And as I continued to use it and I started to develop my leadership skills, I started thinking, how can I use this to to pull in the people that I'm working with? Because you know what? Time is a thief. Time gets away from us. That's what we all want is more time to collaborate but we don't have it, right? Like we cannot find that time. So we have to get really creative. And Marco Polo is one of the apps that I have used to get really creative with building in that time. Okay, so we're gonna talk all about that today. I want to show you a little bit about Marco Polo. I wanna tell you um, exactly how it functions, what it is, how it functions, and how you can really intentionally use it as an instructional leader. Okay, so here's the deal. Marco Polo is, um, well, first I have to tell you, do you see that 30 on the screen? That big 30? That's because I am giving away, and I can't believe it, but I'm giving away 30 Marco Polo plus passes today, okay? Which is, crazy to me um, because 30, I don't even know how I'm going to give 30 away. So my plan is to just kind of give them away randomly throughout this live and however many um, Marco Polo Plus passes I have left at the end of this time, I'm going to ask you to just be watching in the replays and I'll give them out during replays. You could just put hashtag replay if you're watching this after the fact, after this live event. And I will um, I will get you a Marco Polo Plus pass in some way. Okay, let me actually, what I want to do is I want to make this full screen. Are you guys okay with that? I like things to be full screen. Okay, that's so much better. So much better. Okay, so now let me tell you a little bit about what Marco Polo is. Marco Polo is a way for you to communicate in your own time, at your own convenience with friends, family, and colleagues. It is a two-way or multiple group collaboration system where you're able to post a video, a note, um, a quick recording, voice recording, and people are able to respond to you on their own time. If you use Marco Polo, please put it in the comments and tell a little bit about what you love about it and how you use it. Do you use it with friends? Do you use it with colleagues? Do you use it with family? Who do you use Marco Polo with? I am seeing, so Allison's saying the plus pass is awesome. You can use notes or voice only recordings. Now I do have to differentiate. So Marco Polo is completely free. There is a completely free ad free version of Marco Polo. And it's still, even if you keep the free version always, it is still fantastic. However, I am a huge proponent of the plus version of Marco Polo. There are lots of additional things that you can do, like create a voice recording or add a note with a link to it. So there are lots of things you can do with the plus version that you can't do with the free version. With that said, and because I'm giving away Polo Plus passes, that's a lot of peas to put in my mouth. Because I'm giving away Polo Plus passes and I use the Plus version, a lot of what I'm sharing today is um, focused on the, the Plus version. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these comments. I'm seeing, um, wow, so Lauren Hunt says, I'm planning to introduce it to my teachers this school year. 
Glad to be watching this. Me too, Lauren. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Valerie says she uses it with friends and family. Used it with my workshops. Yes, absolutely. You can go back and listen when you're ready for sure. You can even bookmark some videos. We're going to talk all about that. Um, Allison says she uses it every day. She uses it with her Breakthrough Circle group. Yes, her group coaching program, which I'm a part of and you need to look into to create community and connection between members. Awesome. So great. Um, Valerie is saying she wants to use it with teachers. Melissa says she uses it with friends and family. So there are lots of different ways that you can use Marco Polo absolutely with friends and family, family, but also as an instructional leader. So we're going to talk all about how to use that right now as an instructional leader. But let me tell you um, what it can allow you to do if you have the plus version. So if you're looking at the screen, you're seeing all of these different phones with screens that you might notice um, that you might notice could be options for Marco Polo. So you can have an individual chat with someone. You can send a, a voice recording. You can send an actual recording. You can send a note. You can create some graphics to input. You can have group conversations. You can create a share cast where you're giving just information to a group of people. There are so many ways to use it. Um, and what I love about it is that it's so different than text and it is so different from um, phone calls because you can see everything that is happening in a person's expression. And so that makes it extremely authentic. It makes it extremely engaging and it makes it really intimate. OK, so right now, before we move on, I want to take some time to give away. Um, I'm going to give away four passes right now. OK, and I'm going to give them away to whoever can be the first people to share one thing, one hashtag that you notice in the screen. So what I mean by that, because hold on, what I mean by that is if you were going to create a hashtag based on what you see in this screen, what would it be? What would you put as a hashtag based on what you see on the photos in the screen? First four people, I'm so ready to give away some passes. Let's see, connections, Kimberly, you get a pass, love it. Uh, Valerie Ayers and Missy Sinclair, you get a pass, oh my gosh. So let me share with you what we have, okay. I see Kimberly Power says connections. Missy Sinclair, you get a pass. Spread the love. Valerie Ayers, you get a pass. Happy. And Lauren Hunt, you get a pass. Happy or family time. Awesome. Yes, these are all things that we see in just the screenshots that you see of ways that you can use Marco Polo and what it might look like on your phone. Now, what I want to share with you is how it might appear like actually appear on your own phone, okay? And I want to tell you about why Marco Polo. Why would you use Marco Polo? So you might notice on the phone that right here, you see, let me pull this over a little bit. Right here on this phone, this is what it might look like when you pull up your Marco Polo app. So you'll see that there are chats here and there are people suggested to you. You can chat with anyone who has the Marco Polo app you can also invite them via text and there's a personal link that's personal and unique to you that you can use to invite people to chat with. OK, so this is just a quick rundown of what would it look like? Why Marco Polo? So you'll notice that this person, these are all of the chats that she has going on right now that would be like her favorites. Continuous things that she might might or people or groups that she might be engaging with on a day to day basis. Then here's a list of all of the chats. And this would be like individual chats, groups, or share casts that are going on. So notice she's chatting with Antonio individually, Lauren individually, but then she has a family group and that group has six members. Here's the cool thing. Your group can have up to 200 members. Now, I do not suggest that you create a Marco Polo group of, of 200 members, but you can, that's just an example of you being able to have 
large groups of people. Um, my friends at Marco Polo say that one of the best uh, or the the most appropriate number to stay with, stick with in a group chat would be 10 to 12 people, just because it keeps it really intimate and comfortable. So you'll also notice that she's doing a video right now where she's sharing a little bit about what's going on with her family. And then the last one shows that, and that's just with maybe a couple of people in her group. And then the last one shows another group of family members who are sharing videos with each other. Whatever you want to share with your family is what you share with your family or friends. Okay. So why Marco Polo for instructional leaders and teachers and administrators? Let me tell you, Marco Polo is convenient. It is free if you choose for it to be free, because remember, you get to choose between the free version and the plus version. Although I highly recommend the plus version. It's well worth your time and money. It is a great tool to have in a time thieving business. Okay. Think about our role as educators. Our time is always limited, but what if you had an additional tool to pull out of your pocket to send a quick video message to someone that they can come to later? How great is that tool? It's awesome. And it's so different from sending a text message because I can say so much more in such a shorter amount of time via recording. Plus, like I said earlier, people get to see my personal reactions and responses. This is just so amazing to me because how often is it that you get a text message from someone and you really have to process how you're going to respond because you don't know their tone. You don't see their, their responses. You don't see their reactions, their facial expressions. So having this tool allows you to see all of that, to analyze the situation, and then take time to respond. It also is intimate and personal. It is collaborative. Think about all of the people that you might be able to pull into a group to uh, share about an idea that they have or to um, explain something that's happening in their classroom or something that's happening in their personal life that's affecting their classroom. It can be super collaborative and intimate. It is efficient, so efficient. It's on the go. I'm seeing some questions that I want to respond to. So it's um, Dana says, well, others need to have the paid version in order to interact. No. So in Allison mentioned earlier in our um, messages or in our chat that she has a group with her group coaching program. There are, I don't know, probably 65 of us that are on a Marco Polo group together. Half of us have the paid version. Half of us have the free version. And you still are able to interact just the same. So you don't have to have a paid version in order inter to interact. Um, let's see. Amy says, does it go over Wi-Fi or only on phone network? That's the other beautiful thing. I love that you asked this question because in my building where I work as an instructional coach, our cell service is terrible. It is terrible. I will send a text message to someone and I won't get a response until maybe the end of the day because it doesn't go through. The beautiful thing about Marco Polo is that you can use it over Wi-Fi. So it's, it's so fantastic in that regard as well, because I can say, you know what, I can't get this message to her, but if I do a quick Marco Polo, she will get a notification and be able to watch it. So uh, Amy Rudd is saying the same thing, like cell service isn't great. That's okay. You can still access Marco Polo. Okay. Please, please, please put in all of your questions that you have, because I'll be answering questions at the end as well. So keep the questions coming. Okay. So now I want you to, I want you to give me a heart emoji. If you want to see great collaboration with your teams by using a fantastic app such as Marco Polo, give me a heart emoji. If you want to see collaboration, true collaboration happening, because that's what I'm going to tell you next. I'm going to tell you some ways that collaboration can happen 
through the use of Marco Polo. There are three different ways you might use it, and that's what I'm going to tell you about right now. Okay, wait, went all the way back to the beginning. Here we are. Okay, so here are the three ways that you can use it. You can use it, like I've said before, as an individual chat. You can use it for a group chat, or you can use it for a share cast. Now, this is where I'm going to spend the bulk of this time because each of these, and really and truly, guys, the opportunities for this, like the ways you can use it, really is just endless. So if you are thinking about ideas that you have of ways that you could use the individual group or share cast options for Marco Polo, oh my gosh, please put it in the comments because, like I said, the options are endless. I want to, before we move on, and tell you, and I tell you all about these things, I want to do another giveaway. This time I'm giving away five. So I did four, now I'm doing five. So first five people, you have to be ready, okay? First five people to drop in the comments one way that you feel like you could use this, you're going to get a Marco Polo Plus Pass. So tell me one way you want to use Marco Polo. I am seeing... Rose Harris, I'm leading a new teacher academy. This will be perfect. Great. You get a Marco Polo Plus Pass. Um, let's see. Danielle Turner said, excited to stay in touch this way with my student support team. Perfect. Um, Valerie Bobo says, I want to use this with literacy strategy lessons shared. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Kimberly Power, so cool. Oh, yep. I already gave you a pass, didn't I? Rose Harris, I gave you a pass. I'm looking for my last one. Did I give four away already? I said... Let me look through my comments. Wow, so many awesome comments. You guys are fantastic. So Rose is getting a pass. Danielle's getting a pass. Valerie's getting a pass. Um, Amy Rudd, have I given you a pass already? Yes, thinking of a book study. Perfect for a book study. And Lynn Brown, PLCs. Okay, I'm also seeing on here coaching cycles, team collaboration, news, group PD session, feedback. Oh my gosh, so many Fantastic ideas. Building relationships. Yes, absolutely. Um, specifically for student students in crisis. So kind of thinking about shifting it to how students might be able to use it. Um, with leadership teams to share ideas, encouraging teachers, PD training. Oh, you guys are fantastic. How do you people get over the fear of video chat? We're going to talk about that specifically when we get to... Um, group chat. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about some ways you can use individual chat. And like I said, options are endless. So what I'm sharing with you is really how I have used it and how I envision it could be used. Okay, so for an individual chat, and you know, it's so funny, like you'll notice Allison right here. That's Allison Peterson, guys. She is the founder of the New to Coaching group on Facebook. So if you, um, Allison, if you want to tag that in the comments, and the founder of the Breakthrough Circle. And she and I have a conversation going on pretty much daily. And I, I want you to pay close attention to what I look like and where I am, okay? Because in this individual chat, and this kind of goes back to people who fear the camera a little bit, because that is not uncommon. A lot of people, especially when they're first starting to use Marco Polo, they feel really, really uncomfortable, like, ooh, I have to put myself on camera. I have to hear myself. I even have a dear friend of mine who's been on Marco Polo for as long as I have. And she is notorious for deleting Marco Polo videos after she's posted them because you can do that. You can delete. Um, and we're constantly saying to her, why did you delete that? We want to see what you have to say. And she's like, no, it was just, it was too long. I didn't sound right. So it is a constant um, I don't want to say battle, but it is a constant coaching conversation where you're helping people really get comfortable with who they are and get comfortable with um, being their true, authentic selves. And in this picture, I am definitely my true, authentic self. I specifically remember this conversation because it was just a couple of days ago. And I was telling Allison about some things that I was struggling with. Um, I just found out about some medical issues that I've got going on. And I'm, I was frustrated. And like, 
I just want to push through it. I just want to go to the next thing. I want to be ready. And she spoke some truth into my life. And it was hard for me to hear, but guess what? Because of this individual message and the ability for me to take some time to think about what she said, I was able to process it and understand, yeah, she's speaking some truth and I appreciate it. And I was able to respond in a calm manner where I had reflected on what that truth was and how grateful I was for, for her to be a person speaking truth into my life. Um, Imagine if she had tried to speak truth over text or even speak truth over a phone call. Guess what? I would have been pretty brief and abrupt and like, OK, got to go. Bye. But I didn't do that. That individual chat gave me time to process and it gave me time to reflect and it gave me time to think about how I wanted to respond. Um, and you'll also notice this is what I was going to point out a minute ago and I got way sidetracked, but it's like very little makeup going on here. I'm in a t-shirt. I'm outside. We try to take on the idea that when you get on Marco Polo, you come as you are. You do real life together. Because what is this all for if we're not doing real life together? So if you are engaging in an individual chat with someone, that is the place that you can help them to come to become more comfortable with a camera because it is just you and them. So it's almost like you're building a relationship with this one individual chat in order to pull them over to a group. OK, so you also have to think about how you're modeling um, your com your comfort with the Marco Polo app and modeling your comfort in front of a camera. So if you are modeling authenticity, if you are modeling real true life, in the midst of getting on Marco Polo, guess what? The people who you are using Marco Polo with, they are going to be more willing to jump into Marco Polo with you. Okay, so it just takes time. All right, give me a hashtag ready for group chat. Hashtag ready for group chat. If you're ready to start talking, most exciting piece of this is actually going to be Sharecast. That is what I'm most excited about. But we're going to talk about group chat first. So hashtag ready for group chat. Okay, awesome. Olivia's ready. Sarah's ready. Ready for group chat. Dana, awesome. Okay, so here we go. Group chat. Let me tell you all about how group chat can work as an instructional leader. So, and really and truly, your group chat option can funnel into individual chat and vice versa. So let's say you've got an indiv individual chat going on once on with someone, you can take that person from your individual chat and move them into a group chat and vice versa. I'm in a group chat. Now I want to have some individual conversations with people who are in this group. That is absolutely an option. So the two go hand in hand. In a group chat, you might have, like I said earlier, you can have up to 200 people in a group. I don't suggest that. Um, I do suggest between, between 10, maybe 20. I feel like 20 is sometimes pushing it. But between 10 to 20 would be your maximum number of people in your group. So this is perfect, perfect, perfect. And some people mentioned it earlier. Perfect for first year teachers. So let's say you have a first year teacher academy going for your new or your new teachers coming to school. This is the perfect place for them to share questions to uh, for you to post some links to things that are imperative for them to have for you to be able to engage in some real conversation about the different parts of the year. Like I know there are different seasons of the year where these first year teachers are going to be experiencing X, Y, Z. So when we get into a group chat, I know these are the things that I'm going to encourage them to talk about. OK, so it's perfect for that kind of situation. You also could use it for all of your new hires so that they are able to support each other, because that's really what your group can provide. It can provide the support and collaboration that they don't always get to experience on a day to day basis, because where are they? They are secluded in their classrooms. 
Where are they? A lot of the time they are feeling alone and lost. We can keep them from feeling that way just by engaging in a conversation in Marco Polo. Um, someone said, is there a maximum number of minimums for each post? Is it similar to fit flip groups? So no, you, are you talking, oh, minutes. So maximum number of minutes. No, there's not. Now with that said, because there's not like a maximum, like a maximum capacity of number of minutes that you can speak and there's not a minimum, um, you do want to set some norms before using group chats. So in our Breakthrough Circle group, we have, I think, four norms that we set. And it is come as you are, come as you please, um, do coach and life together. And there's one more and I've forgotten what it is. So when you create a group, it is necessary for you to have norms that you live by within the group. Just like if you were to work with a PLC or if you were to work with people, uh, teams of teachers, you're going to want to set norms so people know how to interact and engage. And then you're going to have to be ready to follow through with those norms. OK, and that's completely OK. That actually is a way to begin to build transparency and trust if you've set norms, you've repeated them regularly, and then you follow through with them in a really positive um, and productive way. OK, so you might have to like in the beginning of the year, especially if you if your people are new to this, have some time to introduce the the app, introduce the possibilities, gain buy in for their use of the app. So and then set norms with them. Um, the other thing that I was going to talk about with group chat is other ways you can use it. So some people earlier said, like, of course, your first year teachers, new hires, it could be used for a very small core group of people. Now, let me tell you about core groups. So core groups could be like your very intimate, small leadership team. It could be a core group of teachers who are wanting to do a book study together, a core group of teachers who are wanting to focus on a specific instructional strategy. It could be that your um, core group chat is built of I don't know. I'm trying to think about some different possibilities. It could be like leadership teams or or committees. So your options, again, are completely endless. But it does give that safe, targeted space for people to talk about very specific things. Um, it can be used to share ideas. It can be used to I've got a good question. Somebody just posted that I'm going to respond to. It can be used to like. I, I like to use it just to hear, honestly, just to hear myself say something and then to be able to process my own thing. So a lot of the time in a group, you might say, I just need to share this thought out loud to hear how you might respond to it. And sometimes when I'm doing that, it's that I don't really need any feedback on it. Maybe I need a little bit of coaching. I want people to ask me some questions or maybe I just want the thought to be out there like, Ooh, had this idea, wanted to put it out into the world, make sure it's said, we can come back to it later. So like I said, it, it's very, very flexible, very, very functional. So here is an interesting question. Amy asked, have you ever had people use it in malicious ways? Sometimes there are mean people that act unprofessionally. Just wondering. No, I have never. So I've been using Marco Polo in my coaching and consulting for the past three years, probably. And at no point have I experienced any of that. And here's why. When you are, when you are writing text messages, it is pretty quick to be able or easy to be able to push send and let your words without your voice take the space, right? So that's a little bit easier. Um, if you are on a phone call, you know that, guess what? This phone call is not recorded. I'm going to hang it up, be done with it. On Marco Polo, you're putting your voice and your words together into one, which is representative of your whole self. 
So people are really careful about what they put out there on Marco Polo because it is recorded. Um, they don't know when people are going to listen to it. They don't know how people are going to respond. And so when you get on, you're just extra cautious about what you say, what you do. So it's a, it's a really interesting thing um, to, to see happening or I guess not happening. So it's, it is very much a, a positive space. Um, so is Sarah asked, is there a handout that can be sent to admin to give them more info on this program? Ooh, what if I told you that I will email you one if you put it in, put your email in the comments below. So yes, I have a handout that can be sent to admin or sent to someone to give you information about how this might be used as an instructional tool um, for instructional leadership teams. Put your email in the comments and I will send it to you today. Okay, so that's group chat. I have so much more I could share about group chat, but oh my goodness, <laughs> I just, I can't say enough about how positive and um, beneficial Marco Polo is. But yes, um, if you have more questions about group chat or individual chat, please put them in the comments. So, and um, then, so Rose said, what about some things for teachers to have instructions on how to load the app and find my group? Yes. Okay. So that's another thing. You can invite people into a group just by texting them because there is an option to find your contacts on the Marco Polo app. But you set, you also have the option of sending your individualized unique link. So anytime you create a group, it has a unique link that you can send to other people that they can join. So super, super easy. Like this is a very user-friendly app too. Um, and I know that all of the people who have been in groups with me or an individual chat, like Valerie Ayers um, and uh, Amy Gilbert, I guess she's not here, but we had a group chat going last year for, and for a long time, we talked all about collaboration and that group chat ended up leading to us doing a podcast together. So even people who are not necessarily in your district, but people who are outside your district, you're able to collaborate with them and share about what's working for you, what's not working in your organization. It's a fantastic networking and communication tool as well. Okay, so let me tell you, are you ready? Let me do a giveaway. Let me do a giveaway. And I want to actually, guess what? I'm going to give a give away give a giveaway? That doesn't even make sense. I'm so excited about this. That's why I'm like stumbling over my words because I love Marco Polo. I'm going to give away a Marco Polo plat plus pass. Can you say that five times really fast? I bet you can't. Maybe you can. You're just better than me. Uh, I'm going to give away a plus pass to every person who has put their email address in the comments. That's what I'm going to do. An email address in the comments you get a Marco Polo Plus Pass. Okay, this is so exciting. I have no idea how many Marco Polo Plus Passes I've given away right now, but it's okay because I know it's not 30 just yet. Okay, give me a um, like laughing emoji if you think Casey is just the craziest person in the whole wide world, but we're still watching her because this is a great show. All right, let's see. Sharecast. Sharecast is my favorite. I love Sharecast so much. Okay, let me tell you about Sharecast. Now, in the past, so I, so far I have done three Sharecasts, okay? And Allison and I have a Sharecast together that we use for the Breakthrough Circle. But I use Sharecast to provide content. Um, and Sharecast is really unique because it is the only option on Marco Polo where you are able to just provide one way communication where no one else is able to post anything. So it's just you as the owner of the Sharecast that is able to share and post things. Now, people can respond with a one minute private message that only you can see. So the whole group doesn't see it. Um, and they can respond like react with emojis on the side because that is a possibility through Marco Polo. Anybody can um, post or like react with emojis. So I want to tell you, Sharecast 
is a game changer for instructional leaders. It is a game changer, not just for instructional leaders, but also for coaches who are doing like coaching as a side business or consultants. I use it in all three spaces. I use it as an instructional leader with my current school district. I use it as a coach and I use it as a consultant. Okay. Because this is a great place to just provide content. What kind of content? Well, I will tell you, um, my most recent sharecast was about the three skills you need to become a collaborative leader and culture changer. And I was able to invite multiple people from across the nation into this sharecast with a link. And that's, that's all they had to do. Just click on the link. They were added to the sharecast. Guess what? I had like over 100 people in my last sharecast just engaging in the content that was there. And here's what's even better about it. All 100 plus of those people, they couldn't interact with each other, but I could interact with every single person in that sharecast. So I was able to engage in some conversation about the content with specific individuals. And you can do the same, especially if you are an instructional coach and you're wanting to lead some PD, but you want it to be on the go. Guess what? Start a sharecast. You wanted to do some PD on guided reading? Create a sharecast for your teachers and say, we're going to have this sharecast over guided reading for the next two weeks. Take a look at the videos um, on your own time and respond to me to let me know how things are going for you. So it is a fantastic option for creating content that you want to share with people. I use um, sharecast. Like you'll notice right here, it says, there's a, a picture and that's actually a little video that I created in Canva and I uploaded it into my Marco Polo Sharecast. And this was just like question and answer. Someone had asked a question and I posted that question. Um, it was just a quick little video and then I responded to the question. So here's the coolest thing. Yesterday I was looking in the um, principal, principal Principles book by Stephanie uh, what is her last name? Stephanie Connell, I think it's her last name. So she is the owner of that group. And someone in that group had posted like, is anyone doing flipped faculty meetings this coming year? And if so, what does that look like? And I was like, oh, sharecast. Hello. Absolutely. You can use a sharecast for your flipped faculty meetings. So let's say that you are um, an admin in your building and you want to implement flipped meetings, Sharecast is the perfect place for that because if you have the plus version and you create a Sharecast, you can create videos for your staff to see, you can upload photos, you can upload links, you can create a note, so you can let them know exactly what it is they need to do before they come to the physical faculty meeting. And, like I said earlier, they can respond via re uh, reactions like emojis, or they can respond in a private message. So the options are endless with Sharecast. Here are some other ways that I think that Sharecast could be used. And I wrote some down, so I want to be sure that I don't get this wrong. And if you have ideas for how you might use a Sharecast, um, please put that in the comments. Put that in the comments below. So Sharecast also, I'm going to read off this list here in a second, but Sharecast can also be used in tandem with group chat. So let's say you have a group chat going, but there's specific news or announcements that you need to share with that group. They can also become part of a Sharecast. So there is that option as well. So Lauren Hunt said personalized PD for teachers, PD training for sure. Let me tell you some others. Um, you can have, like I said, flipped faculty meetings. You can use that as an announcement service to your teachers. Hey, teachers, don't forget that today um, we're going to be having a faculty meeting after school. Or, hey, don't forget, it's time to take pictures for our yearbook. Go down to the cafeteria when you get a chance to take your pictures. Um, you could even use it. I love this idea of using it as shout outs. So if you are an instructional leader, uh, instructional coach, or admin, 
This would be a great way for you to get out there the great things that your staff is doing on a daily basis. Remember, earlier I said, our teachers and even our administrators and even our office staff, everyone goes to their little holes and we do our jobs and we end the day maybe not feeling as though we have fully unleashed our impact. But what better way to help people see the impact they're having on our school communities than to post it and shout it out and share it with our people. Sharecast is a great way to do that. I'm seeing some people say, um, let me just post some of these because these are great. Interviews with teachers using successful strategies. Oh my gosh, yes, this is a great idea. So one thing about this too, Lauren, is that you can set up your camera and actually interview a teacher who's sitting there with you to share about those instructional strategies. So even if someone else, because really a share cast, like I said earlier, you own it. No one else can own that share cast. It is yours to own. So you can't have multiple people owning one share cast or as the admin. So it's just you. Um, but that's not to say that you can't put people in the video with you. So fantastic idea. Okay, informal observation reflection in lieu of emails. Yes, listen, last year I had a teacher who was like gung-ho, a runner teacher. She was ready for some feedback and, and wanted to reflect on her own practices. And did I go after it? Absolutely, I did. I did not let that go by the wayside. Instead, we set up Marco Polo. I said, hey, Get the Marco Polo app. I cannot come to your classroom. Listen, some of you I know for sure, like Teresa. Teresa is over multiple buildings. I am over multiple buildings. I work with over 75 teachers. I have people texting and saying, hey, are you on my campus right now by chance? I'm like, I'm not. But guess what? You can get on Marco Polo and send me a message. Or you can get on Marco Polo and record yourself doing a quick lesson with just you in the video and not any of your students. So there are absolutely some ways to use it for informal observations, feedback, um, and self-reflection. So I wanna talk about self-reflection real quick. I'm kind of getting off, but this is back to individual chat. One thing that I do have, and I don't even have my phone with me. Yes, I do. One thing that I do have is um, a Marco Polo with myself. And I created it with just myself in the group because I use it as a space to just share my thoughts, my thinking, my to-do list. Like the first thing you need to do today, Casey, is X, Y, Z. It's okay for you to put in the comments, hashtag Casey is crazy. In fact, I'm going to give away um, three plus passes to people who put hashtag Casey is crazy in the comments. First three people, hashtag Casey is crazy. I'm okay with that. Um, let's see. I'm looking at the comments and I want to be sure that I share some of these things. Oh my gosh. Yes. Class of university students. You're teaching undergrads in the fall. Yes. Build that community girl. I love it. Um, so if anybody has information about PD boxes, I know some uh, people who have done this, like my good friend, Jessica Crawford has done this. I'll be sure to tag her in the comments. Um, I want to say, Teresa, did you do something like that? Somebody I know was talking about that recently. I can't remember who it was. So if you know more about um, PD boxes, be sure to tag Julie Wagner. Uh, shout out, Strength Spotters. Um, follow up on PLC goals. Yes, love it. Okay. Okay, so here's a question. Can you have multiple threads of Sharecast going at once? For example, one for updates, announcements, one for flipped meetings. Yes, you can have as many share casts as you would like to have. I'm telling you, Marco Polo knows what they're doing. My good friend, Megan Allers, if you're listening to this, kudos to you and your team. She works with Marco Polo and she's fantastic. And the whole company is, is fantastic because they listen to what people have to say about their app and they want to make it as useful as possible. So yes, have as many share casts as you would like. Um, so one thing that you might do if you want to craft a few, now I wouldn't do too many at the beginning of the year because you don't want it to be overwhelming, but Sharecast is a great way to pull your people in 
to begin to get comfortable with Marco Polo. So Sharecast is a way for them to be able to see all of your videos and messages and not really have to interact with you, you know, just until they get comfortable. And I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes like I will um, send people messages on Marco Polo and they don't respond, but I know that they've watched it. So, and, and I'll just keep doing it again and again and again. And that's okay with me. Like I'm, I'm not trying to push them to respond, but I want them to know that I'm there when they're ready to engage on Marco Polo with me. Okay. Um, love the idea of sharing PD. Yes. Love it. I see a lot of Casey is crazy. How rude. Just kidding. <laughs> Lynn said, nah, totally normal. So guess what? Cassie Gorman you get a Marco Polo Plus Pass. Missy, did I already give you a Marco Polo Plus Pass? If not, you're getting one. Um, can you send more info about this, please? Are you, so are you talking about PD boxes or is it Brittany? Um, are you talking about like information about Marco Polo? I can do both. Okay, let's see. Send me a PM so I remember I'm running. You got it. Yeah, I will send everyone a message if you got a Marco Polo plus pass. All right. New curriculum adoption FAQs. What a great idea for how to use Sharecast. And here's the thing. Like I just said, Sharecast is a great option if you want to be the person who's modeling, being comfortable with the camera, and you're wanting to elicit um, a little bit of response. People can respond to you individually with questions that then you then can respond to in the share cast. Like, hey, we had several people ask questions about this part of the curriculum. Here's an answer, or here's where you can find the answer. Okay, PD boxes, yes. Okay, oh my gosh. So, in the comments, I want you to tell me, because this is where we're gonna wrap up, but I want you to comment and include what you feel like was most useful for you here today I've given a crash course in ways that you might utilize Marco Polo and why you might utilize Marco Polo. So tell me what you feel like was most useful for you in my excited rambling. Because I love Marco Polo. I don't know if I can say it enough. I feel like they should pay me, but, you know, I don't really have a job there. So I'll just keep doing things like this um, just because I'm such an advocate. Seeing how to utilize Sharecast within Marco Polo. Yes. Yes. Taking it to the next level. That is what it's about. Remind me. So a little bit, I'm going to tell you another thing about taking it to the next level. Learned about the advantages of Sharecast. Uh, brainstorm of coaching opportunities. Using this with new teachers. Yes. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to share as the school year gets started about um, the ways that you plan that you did use Sharecast. Love it. Okay, Daniel Turner, what did you send? What did you send? Did you send a Marco Polo to someone? I want to know. Info on Sharecast. Yes, Sharecast in groups. For small teachers, new teachers, departments. Yes, like I said, and I think at the beginning when you start using Marco Polo in these different ways, it can be overwhelming at first because you have so many ideas. My suggestion is to pick one way that you feel like is going to have the greatest impact, but also is going to be efficient and comfortable. Choose a way. The importance of modeling coming as you are. Listen, it took me a long time because I don't hardly go anywhere without makeup or earrings. But I get a Marco Polo without makeup and earrings. Okay. All right. So I've seen so many comments from people about how this was useful. And I'm so glad that it was useful. But here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to stop there and saying, yes, this was useful. Love this information. I have to know. I have to know in the future when you start using it and how you start using it because I thrive off of hearing how people are utilizing things in unique, different ways. So what I'm going to ask you to do is in a private message or 
in a Marco Polo chat. Yes, a Marco Polo chat. In a little bit, I will post my Marco Polo link, or I'm going to try to actually. I want you to tell me how you felt um, this content was useful for you. And I want you at some point to reach out to me and let me know, hey, used Marco Polo in this way and it was awesome. Or, hey, used Marco Polo in this way and it really was a failure. And that's okay too, because guess what? Marco Polo is not always going to be um, a success and that is okay. I'm gonna put in the comments my individual Marco Polo link I'm just giving me a little bit of time to type it. And you're going to reach out to me. And if you feel like, ooh, I'm not quite comfortable with getting on camera, I'm going to coach you through it. We're going to do that together. Okay. So here we go. If you want to know a little bit about what Sharecast can look like as a content provider, I'm doing another Sharecast in September where I share about the three things you need to know to unleash your impact. It's going to be a level up share cast. So in the past, I've done just basic share casts. This is actually a level up share cast. Three things, $3. I'm going to be working with you for about two weeks on the three things you need to unleash your impact. Now, when I say unleash your impact, you're like, what does that even mean? What I mean is, you're going into PLCs where you're ready to level up and take the next step as a leader because you know there could be more for your PLC teams. You're going into grade level meetings and you know that you have the potential to impact those people there. And it takes the three things that I'm going to share with you. Or you are trying to implement great faculty or PLC meetings and you're trying to go by the book and you're following all the directions, you're following all of the forms but it is still stagnant. I'm gonna help you to think about three things you need to unleash your impact and take the next step to help you to level up as an impact leader. Maybe you're a classroom teacher and you're like, golly, our, our teams could be doing so much more or I think I can make a greater impact outside of my classroom walls. Guess what? These three things are what you need. I'm gonna be telling you all about that. That's coming up in September. You can find out more about this event on my website. You can go to catchingupwithkc.com. You can even put um, slash impact at the end of that. If you want to go specifically to this page where I tell you all about three things for $3. And the bonus is you get to see what it looks like for me to implement a share cast with content. Okay. Um, finally, finally, finally. If you want to know more, like I said, go to catchingupwithkc.com slash impact, or you can do catchingupwithkc.com and just go to my basic page and get in touch with me. Um, I want to know if there are any other things that you have questions about, things you want to know about, or one word that you're leaving with today that you are feeling in this moment. Just one word. Ooh, if you get your clients going on this, how do you control boundaries and time commitment? Amy Wright, I love that question. Um, so I, because I have, I'm going to be on, very honest with you about this. Because I see excited, Cassie's excited, I am too. If, um, like, if you have the plus pass, there are some ways for you to get through, through the videos pretty quickly. There's a two times option so you can speed up your videos. So that is a time saver for me. But I also will tell you, I like Marco Polo is a part of my livelihood, honestly, as a coaching consultant. Um, so I just have to figure out how to make time for it. I drive on a daily basis at like 40 minutes to work, 40 minutes home. And that time I'm spending on Marco Polo. So I, I think it, it, it can be really challenging to set boundaries, um, but you can also, like, I have to let my people know too, hey, I'm not going to be on Marco Polo until this time, so I'll get back to you when I get a chance. Um, and it really has not been overwhelming to me, so. But to some people, like, you would really have to decide what are the boundaries you're going to set for yourself, okay? All right, I am seeing all of these words, excited, hopeful, just do it. That's right, Amy. Just do it. Get out there. Energized, grateful. I'm grateful for you guys. 
hopeful, motivated. Yes. Okay. I so appreciate you coming to the live. And hey, if you did not get a Marco Polo Plus pass, I'm going to be looking for you to comment, didn't get a pass. I'm going to be looking for, did not get a pass. And if I have some left, you're getting a pass because I have 30 to give away. All right, guys. Until next time, I will catch you later. Bye.